New California law is putting the spotlight on the weapons police have at their disposal, including robots that can kill people. In San Francisco, officials debated whether its police force should be able to arm robots and ultimately pass that measure by a vote of 8-3. to three. Reed Callen is in San Francisco with the latest. San Francisco's Board of Supervisors approved a measure to allow police to use remote-controlled robots capable of using deadly force in emergency situations. We're talking about using a robot that we've had for 11 years. A new California law requires police departments to get the approval for use of military-grade equipment, including what it already has. You would think SFPD just woke up one day and thought it would be really cool to go out and get some killer robots and go terrorize the community. And that's not at all what's happening here. The department said in a statement it has no plans to arm robots with guns, but it could deploy them with explosive charges if lives are at stake. We weigh out, do we want to risk lives and the public by getting ourselves exposed to the suspect, or can we send a robot in to deal with it? Those against the proposal raised ethical concerns and cited the impact on people of color. This is a big deal. This is a this is opening up a Pandora's box that could change our society in a significant way. There are more than 1,000 robots and unmanned vehicles in use by police departments around the country, primarily by bomb squads. One of the first times a robot was used to kill a suspect happened in 2016. Dallas police deployed one against a man who had gunned down five officers. And he was telling us how many more he wanted to kill. This, this, this wasn't an ethical dilemma. Last month, Oakland City Council denied its police the ability to use robots for lethal force. Reed Cowan, CBS News, San Francisco. Now, the measure in San Francisco hasn't passed just yet, but it's now on the fast track. There is a second vote by the same board next week, and then the mayor must sign off. She was one of the sponsors of it. Only a handful of officers within the department can sign off on using a robot for lethal force.